GLDC. Um, we talk about a, an RFID investment of about 400 million over five years. And this global initiative of partners, one of the, the nicest things about having to write this proposal was being able to contact so many partners that are interested in this domain of the legumes, how the legumes fit into systems, and the millets and sorghums as important components of agricultural systems. Not just on the production end, but through the, the value chains and markets leading to commodities. Those partnerships are going to deal with the upstream science, so uh, fantastic uh, record of of CGR collaborating with institutes around the world to do leading edge science. Um, this is a slide from the, the phase one CRP for grain legumes where you know, obviously there's research partnerships with the national partners um, within the countries that these crops are important. Obviously uh, the transfer of the material, the breeding material that the CGR contributes has to feed into the national programs, whether that's for the public sector or the private sector. And so the amount of material that's coming out from the CGIR that's going to national variety trials that can then go on to uh, release through the national systems. Um, we have to connect with farmers. Uh, this is an example of uh, farmer producer organisations in India. That's a, a significant government initiative to try to empower farmers to come together in cooperatives not just to gain access to on-farm technologies, new varieties and technologies, but can they do um, close to farm processing that will increase the value, value add those commodities. And, and so there's great opportunities in places like India where policies are uh, helping farmers organise. But also partnering with agribusiness. I've got a couple of examples here from our agribusiness innovation platform at ICRISAT. But we heard the talk from Bupin this morning about how seed companies, um, and I've already met a number of private sector players in the room here, so um, Advantage is not the only private uh, company in the room, about how they're developing tools and approaches that might help day chain actors to gain access to um, markets and allow farms to connect to markets. So what's the role of research in being able to facilitate that connection and so again, it's for the mutual benefit of those value chain actors back to providing benefits to the farmer beneficiaries of a program like this. Uh, a really a, a proud achievement of ICRISAT is the, the work done by the ICRISAT Development Centre in, in moving from working with tens or hundreds of farmers to working with thousands and tens of thousands, up to millions of farmers, about scaling out these technologies. Uh, there are, we all know that those of us who have been in the game, the research game for long enough, that there's proven technologies that need to be exposed to farmers. They have to be demonstrated on farm, proven in the domain of farmers. And, and the Vichetna program and the other programs led by uh, Dr. Rani at Nikrasat is really a, a fantastic case of being able to connect the key players, whether that's the, the government, the private sector, the NGOs, to be able to deliver uh, innovations to farmers and they achieve benefits. An important mechanism, but not the only mechanism, is what we're calling the GLEC Innovation Fund. Now, I've, I've put the details there, but basically it's carving out some of the core funding that's come to the CG and making that available to non-CG partners. And it is around leverage and ideas about um, uh, that you can say unexpected or unanticipated opportunities that come up through conversation about connecting it with uh, the players in the value chain around these crops. And so that innovation fund uh, was initially going to be $5 million over the, over the five years. Um, we've had some funding cuts, and but I want to see if we can maintain it close to that level. There's an opportunity to, when we talk to an NGO or a private sector, it's not about, hey, uh, can you share some of your funding? Some of it's going to be that. You could share some of your funding. Um, it is about, can we uh, use this prospectus to write joint proposals that, or, or um, concept notes that can go into funding. But we can come with some of our own funding to support you in doing things together where there's um, this added advantage of collaboration, there's this, this added value of getting together. So this is this innovation fund and we'll provide more details about how people access that uh, shortly, I hope. So, Again, I'm coming back to the theory of change, and Michael's following me to talk about the GLDC theory of change, but it's incredibly important to, to note that we've changed in this um, CRP around from 
the old, uh, I think, CG uh, theory of change where we do our upstream science, we embed that in traits that go into varieties that we pass on to seed systems and farmers, they grow more yield and sell them into markets. Um, I think we heard uh, from Yemi this morning that that's not necessarily the, you know, sending it to the roadside market may not be enough in Africa. So this theory of change, and, and hopefully Martin Michael will confirm what I'm saying here, is about saying, well, what are some market drivers? What's the opportunities out there for markets that are going to provide incentives to farmers to grow new varieties that have got market and consumer traits that, uh, that uh, will then ask them or enable them to adopt new varieties those market and consumer traits should feed into the upstream science to come up with the markers and the genetics uh, that can produce those new varieties. So, so flipping this um, idea around to a demand-driven innovation is really important. So uh, with that, I'll say thanks. I think uh, the key to success of this CLP is, is true partnership. It's ensuring that those of you who have joined us here and those that will join us as partners can see there's value in being part of this rain legumes and dry land cereals network, being part of the, the pitch for the prospectus to ensure that there's future funding uh, and increased funding in this space, and that we join together in achieving the impacts that are needed in this domain of dry land systems in sub-Saharan African